hi there and welcome back to Japan where we're going to be talking about the girlfriend cover of the scandal song Love Survive and as always with this reaction review this is the review video if you want to see the reaction I've just done to the song hearing it for the first time pause this click the little link in the description below that'll open up a separate player where you can watch the reaction with me just in case you've never heard this version of the song before or you just want to see how I reacted when I heard it for the first time but here comes the review so you ready sure you don't want to pause this first well, now it's too late. Here comes the review anyway. Um, so uh, th this <laughs> this raised a bundle of questions because the thing that can't be denied is that I've now heard the song in three different versions. And the three different versions all have pros and cons that somewhat supersede, you know, the, the thing that we're trying to do here, which is a direct comparison, in that the first version was obviously the definitive studio version, and yet whoever was responsible for the mastering decided to squash everything until it was unrecognizable thus destroying the work of the band in the writing and the recording and the producers in picking the nice sounds just someone decided that none of it really needed to be heard and just squashed it beyond all belief making it a completely unenjoyable waste of recording time um then you had the live version which was the first time i finally got to hear scandal playing their song but obviously it somewhat suffered from what live songs do which is the you know the performances were not 100 percent razor sharp because they're rocking out anyway um along with a degree of echoey sound you know less precision not being able to pick up the definition in the bass as much and then we have this version which is beautifully raw sounding in a studio with all the clarity and you know sort of nice effect just like you know reverb and everything balanced well on all of that and you know being delivered beautifully but not actually by scandal so it's hard to compare them but compare them we will as best as we can the problem that further um, rises here is that it seems that the cover that Girlfriend have done is not one of their ones where they've attempted to reinvent the song or add their own sound so much as just play it themselves. Um, and so when you're hearing the band just play it themselves, pretty much the same as the original, um, really the only thing you've then got to critique is do they just sound better doing Scandal's song? Well, the first thing that I can say is vocally... Interestingly enough, I think that although I th I would say that the vocal talent on display and Girlfriend seems to be better, um, as in they just seem to have more sort of full um, vocals and less reliance on pitch correction, which uh, as much as Scandal seem to be able to do great songs without pitch correction, they are leaning on it occasionally. Despite that, I enjoyed the vocals in the Scandal version more. Um, and the main reason is because, as I said with the Scandal version, there is much more contrast between Haruna and Tomomi's voice. Um, I mean, Tomomi, I know she does a lot of vocals, but I don't think of her naturally as much of a singer. Um, it's something that she she does. Um, a lot of bands have this, like one member who will occasionally sing or front the occasional song, but isn't really a singer. Um, I know a lot of people are going to argue and disagree, and I know Tomomi's got some real diehard fans. I just... I. Yeah, and I'm even I'm a big fan of a lot of singers who have that high pitched voice. I mean, I've got a Silent Siren CD right here. You know, I mean, I'm 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 <laughs> I'm more than willing to admit that I've got no problem with that. I just kind of she never comes across to me as being you know that front singer type. But then you put her alongside her and it really works. It makes sense. You know, their voices balance out beautifully. They balance out great. So like I say, I probably look at girlfriend and see more of like a vocal talent there you know the the, the guitarist and the bassist and everyone just seems to be a singer but their voices don't complement each other's with that sort of same contrasting interest there's not as much to get your ears into um in terms of an arrangement uh element as there is when scandal do it so yeah from that side just as pure enjoyment as much as i appreciate what girlfriend did performance wise the vocal side preferred what scandal were doing now, instrumentally, like I said, this is difficult because it seems that I had a lot of trouble picking up the detail of um, this way that Scandal play it. Because like I said, the two versions I've heard, one was a slightly squashy live version um, where the bass was, you know, I wasn't really focusing so much on the bass because it wasn't really cutting through. Maybe I should have focused a bit more on that, but it just didn't sort of grab my attention. And then the squashed version where I couldn't really properly pick out anything. Um, so it's hard to say how much has been reinvented, but to me, this just sounded like they were playing it exactly the same. However, with the clarity, 
not knowing whether this is the same between all versions or not. The bass line, I really like the bass line. I thought it was fantastic in this. Um, so I probably should go back and check that. Um, but I do wonder whether there was this fantastic bass line in there all along that I maybe wasn't recognizing, or perhaps because Tomomi is so prevalent in the vocal side of the Scandal version, maybe she wasn't doing quite this much of bass complexity and therefore girlfriend have been, been able to add that in. However, the bass line did seem to be a really, really um, important part of the arrangement to the song for me. And I, I suspect that girlfriend probably have added a bit of that. Um, if they haven't, then massive credit for Tamami if she was doing that bass line while singing. Just a shame that it never cut through. Um, but yeah, I, I think the bass line did a lot to add a lot of extra life to the song. The song, like I say, itself is very good in that it is, it's simple but effective. But that's one of the qualities of bass. And I think that's one of the qualities that Japanese musicians most notably get from bass is the ability to, I mean, once again, I'll, I'll call that bands like Silent Siren, like band made as well, um, is the ability to take a song that is simple but add this really complex bass line in a way that your ear is not drawn to it but subconsciously it makes the song sound fuller by having more activity more of a kinetic energy going on in the background uh, maybe where your ears are not drawn to um and you know this, this version this girlfriend version certainly had the mix just right that you could hear the bass it wasn't grabbing your ear but just every time you sort of turn towards it you thought wow this bass line's awesome um the drum line was pretty much the same. Uh, the, the drum line for this song seems to be pretty simple, but sim effective. It's all about punch. Um, that seems to be the same as did the guitar. Um, looking at it, you know, I mean, I would perhaps, the, the qualities that I would give, like I said, I give the clarity one to the girlfriend version, but then again, you know, I, how can we possibly compare that when they're studio live compared to stage live? I would say that um, certainly the Scandal version was much more infectiously joyous. Um, but then again, they are on stage being goaded on by an audience. I do still think when I, when I was watching the girlfriend version for even in a studio, it, it did look like they may be, I know, especially when you get into that really heavy bridge, I was like, wow, okay, this is a bit where you can really rock out. And it's not that complicated. I mean, you can still dance around the studio and play that perfectly fine. The drummer looked like she was really getting into it, but the rest of the band kind of looked like they were kind of chilled out playing. I don't know if that's just the director or not. So, I mean, maybe that, but again, these are all hard things to balance. So I was about to say, as far as our sort of comparing versions goes, this is the first one where I've got to admit we kind of really can't give an answer as to which one's better. I would say the of the three, the one that I'm most likely to re-listen to is definitely the girlfriend version, simply because it's the only clear version. Um, however, it all this all just all of this reminds me that really. This is all second best to what I really want. So once I want to go and get that original recording of Love Survived by Scandal that they recorded for their album and just release it with some soft compression, just some nice compression, just to make it enough that it's good for your headphones when you're on the train or something. Something that is nicely balanced. And if you can't get it right, don't put any on it at all. But just, ah. Oh. I get the feeling like the best version is there still being hidden away. But as these two alternates go, um, yeah, um, I, I think it, it does seem that Scandal certainly have the best ability to get the most out of their song um, because it just suits their voices. I think, I think the vocal performance is the main reason for me why it just feels like it's ultimately a Scandal song and will always be a Scandal song. Um, but that bass line, which I'm assuming Girlfriend uh, added to, or at least it was just clear on their version, really elevated that. And it also demonstrated that um, Girlfriend have an ability to just add like a real sort of musicianship quality. They can take other people's songs, and even if they play it pretty much exactly the same, they just play it sounding so good, so natural. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, no conclusion. So tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you thought of these songs by comparison to each other or individually. Obviously, we just put up the video before this of the uh, live Love Survive version. If you want to check out my original review where I complained about the um, music video version, 
not that there's anything wrong with the video, just the bloody album version of a song or single version of a song, whatever it was. Um, you can check that out by going back a little bit as on our Scandal Weekend or just search our channel. Um, but yeah, really interested to know. Comment on this one. Let me know what you thought of this Girlfriend cover and what you think of Girlfriend's covers as a general. They've got some really varied, interesting ones, but they seem to all be really high quality. Um, and yeah, we talk about their original music as well. Unfortunately, a lot of it was lost on the previous channel when that closed down, but we still talk about them a lot on the new channel and we'll be checking out more Girlfriend as and when we can without getting sued by their record label um and as always likes and subscribes are greatly appreciated for little channels like us trying to build back up to where we were before and maybe even beyond um on top of that also a massive massive thank you to anyone who follows our social medias where we talk about music all the time lots of girlfriend and scandal fans on there too big big thank you for anyone who follows our patreon and therefore manages to actually keep this channel going and last but not least thank you yourself for making it through to the end of this video. So until I see you hopefully soon for the next one of these in Japan, for now, ciao ciao.